Hi, my name is Elisa. Hi, my name is Mark. Hi, my name is Sophie. And, and this, this is, is the making of Psych Escape. Ah! Oh, fuck! Fucking Akshay. So in the beginning, we we're kind of having trouble like coming in an idea for our escape room. But then one night, I kind of had this dream that I was trapped in an asylum and it was like crazy real, but it was just a dream. And I brought it up to Lisa and Sophie and they thought it was a good idea for a game premise. So I just thought, let's do this. So, the theme for Psych Escape, you're trapped in the room of this 12-year-old boy who mysteriously disappeared from this mental asylum, and nobody knew why. But he left a bunch of clues around to help you escape from his room. So, you gotta look around the room and try and put the pieces together and see how to get out. So, he's really into, like, Disney things. Oh, right, this is Pinocchio, right? Pinocchio, oh, wait, this liar. Is Pinocchio. That's, That's Pinocchio. Pinocchio. Short oh. Um, and, like, little kid like cartoon stuff so you got to kind of like use your mind and your imagination to like figure it out and like get into the head of this little kid oh my god it was really scary i like didn't really know what to do i didn't really know what to say if the wrong combination is inserted press down the silver match several times and try again okay, so <laughs> i like i don't know there were like clues and they were really 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 hard and like I would just look to people for guidance, but everyone was equally as lost. <laughs> oh! Oh! Ah! And it was just like so difficult, but in the best way. So in terms of the puzzles for the game, Elisa, Sophie, and I really oh, thought we should God. make them really simple. We kind of put our heads together and thought of puzzles that would be, you know, somewhat relatively easy for our classmates to solve. Okay, if you guys can't figure it out, I'll raise your hands together. You all have to, no, do, can, have to. You no, all no, have to know smart. together. Yeah, you have to. Have and to we'll give you a small hint you, if you yeah. all agree that you need help. No, we, no. we won't. Oh, we don't need a hint. They're doing a lot of flash references. Y'all made this really impossible. Take a hint. <laughs> oh, not enough. I thought that was wrong. Yeah, yeah, I said you take a hint. Why is the hand so cold? Okay, so I want a hint. I lied to one six. I'm useless. Uh, the the playtest, the escape room playtest was very fun. It was definitely the most uh, fun and interactive uh, playtest that I experienced during the day. Um, I remember it being a little bit difficult because the like big answer was like something to do with numbers and it's like a bunch of map students in one room and the answer is to do with numbers. Like it's not we're never gonna we're never gonna get that. <laughs> like give it like what do you want? Like what do you, what do you want? <laughs> what do you want me to say? <laughs> I mean, I think in terms of like all the play tests, um, it was very well thought out and like you guys had like all these props and you know, you kind of had like a set design and uh, that was really impressive to me. Like how not only you thought out the uh, ins and outs of this game, but also had to kind of conceptualize like what the space itself would look like. I thought that the escape room was just a totally different vibe. I, I was not even expecting um, any of the groups from this class to even do an escape room. So, when I saw that this was a there was a play test for that, I was so excited. I, I had no clue what to expect. I was really interested to see how you guys were going to fuse in all of the theories into an escape room. We just like walk in and. You know, the, all of a sudden the lights are off, and then we're asked to just read these instructions, and then um, this like cre the creepy music comes on, and just like already like I was in set into that tone of like the whole escape room vibe, like this whole like kind of just shock that kind of came over to me. Uh, reflective process. I think that we might we pro we made we made the puzzles a little bit too difficult. Like a lot of people had trouble with it. Like people were having too much trouble getting from the first puzzle to the second one. The first one was like way too difficult. There were too many parts. It was too like intricate. Like people were having trouble. Like we had two books. It threw people off too much. And then the second puzzle was way too easy. Like people figured it out like that like really quickly. And so I think going back, like if we were able to like revisit this, we would 
probably like make one easier and make the other one a little bit harder so they're equal level so people don't feel like one is too difficult one is too easy and then feel a lot of pressure in the beginning to like try and get that puzzle finish i think if we were able to do like extend it further we would be able to put in like more puzzles and have the room be a little bit more extensive like in our room we had only a couple of things because we were sharing like the audio recording space but if we were able to do it again i would love to like make an actual room and have like a bunch more stuff in it instead of using like my little speaker have like actual like surround sound in there so it's more of an immersive experience because everyone said that the sound was a huge part of it and that made it a lot more scary and a lot like put a little a little bit more pressure on everyone to like get the puzzle done and like make it a little bit creepier and like put you into the space more. So I think if we had that surrounding everyone, it would be a lot better just to like put people into the mindset a little bit more of like trying to get out. Do you think you're sane enough to handle it? Visit Psych Escape to see if you are up to the challenge.